Yeah, kind of. What do you think this is going to mean to him? Um, I don't know. I think she's going to be kind of surprised. <laughs> she reacts funny to compliments, so we'll see how it goes. So today, a bunch of different students are choosing someone on campus in our community that we're going to thank for just being there for us. We're here to honor our role models on campus, let them know that we appreciate them, and that they mean more to us than they may think. Um, we're here to talk about my best friend, Annie Yang. I walked in on the first day and she was like the nicest person to me. I smiled at her and she smiled back at me and like invited her to sit with me. I had to choose Mrs. Clark, there's no one else. Like she cares for us the way that parents care for their kids. They have no idea that they're gonna come in and we're gonna surprise them. He thinks that we're filming a video just about the school, but in reality, I'm going to be surprising him today. So, really nervous, excited, and can't wait for her to come through the door. Got it? Yep. We're here today to talk about Mr. Hall. And I'm here to thank him for being him. He's been there for me through a lot of ups and downs, academically, personally. I just really appreciate his presence. I appreciate his words, his advice. She was there for me when I went through a really rough, life-changing patch in my life. My parents were really far away, and she was there with me through everything. Danny means a lot of things to me. He is, he's a very good friend. I feel like he's someone I can trust. I can expect her to always show up and be there for me. So, Mrs. Clark, I this seat is for you. <laughs> yeah, what is this? <laughs> uh, a little overwhelmed, I mean, grateful. Um, thank you. How are you? You make it so freaking easy for me to be here, and I just can't thank you enough for that. Um, is this why I'm here? Oh my god. <laughs> I love you, Kato. Yes, you I love you, Mrs. Clark. You're yeah. so great to me. I'm really proud of you. I couldn't be more proud of you. You were the one that drove me yep. to the hospital, and that. the biggest thing I remember is like you holding my hand mm -hmm. throughout my entire 45-minute yep. MRI. I just didn't want you to be alone. I came out of the dining hall, right? first and? day. You remember this? Yes, of course. Okay, <laughs> I just lost look on my face, and you saw that. Yep. And you invited me to the table. It made me understand the culture of kindness that we have at Kent. I think I look up to you in some ways, because you're very self-controlled, and you also know how to navigate through certain situations that I never could very well. You are like the most pivotal part of my kind of experience and I, I don't know, I just want to be more like you all the time. But I want to be more like you. No. So I don't know what we're supposed to do. I feel like any single time that I go see him, talk to him, be around advisory and all of those kids, it's always just very comfortable. I feel at ease. I feel my most myself and comfortable. So yeah, it's definitely my family inside of my family. At Kent. I recognize that Jordan sees me as his advisor and his coach but for me you know Jordan has become almost like a son to me. As we get close to grad it's everything's starting to set in and I mean, we're not going to be with these people for long but I mean it feels like longer than four years we've spent together. Yeah. Memories for a lifetime for sure. Yeah. Honestly the reason why the universe sent me to this school was to meet you so I could learn from you and become the person that I was that I'm meant to become. When you asked me to be your advisor Oh, sorry. Take your time. <laughs> um, and you told me that Mr. Clark and I made you feel um, at home. That's why I work at schools like this, for that reason. I'm glad, glad to have been there. I'm glad you were too. <laughs> you surprised me. <laughs> I'm glad, that was the point. <laughs> That's great. Oh my goodness.